I, I would hate for something for somebody in a family to go through what we went through um, because it's unbearable. That was Lori Vallow Daybell's brother, Adam Cox. Jurors found Lori guilty on all charges back in May. Those charges include murder, conspiracy to commit murder, and grand theft in the deaths of her two kids, JJ and Tylee Ryan, and her husband's late wife, Tammy Daybell. Well, now Lori's brother, Adam Cox, and her uncle, Rex Connor, are telling their side of the story with a new podcast and a book. News Channel 7's Abby Davis talked with both men today. And Abby, I guess the first question is, why are they doing this? Well, Brian, both Rex and Adam say writing everything down and talking through things is therapeutic. They got the idea for a podcast and book less than two weeks ago. While most other families will not go through something so extreme, the two believe they have some valuable advice. A series of tragedies Adam Cox and Rex Connor didn't see coming. I never thought that this would happen to my family. We all realize that none of these people should have died at this point in their life. They should still be with us. It's been almost two months since the jury found Lori Vallow Daybell guilty of murder, conspiracy to commit murder, and grand theft in the deaths of her two kids, JJ and Tylee Ryan, and her husband's late wife, Tammy Daybell. In regards to count one of the amended indictment, answer guilty. Rex is Lori's uncle. Adam is Lori and Alex Cox's brother. Police say Alex shot and killed Lori's fourth husband and that his phone pinged near JJ and Tylee's burial sites. Alex died before police could bring any charges in this case. To me, it was no surprise. Obviously, we know that her, Chad, and Alex are guilty of all those things that they did, the plan. I mean, it's all laid out there. But the two say there are still some gaps in the story. Ones only family members can help fill. That's why Adam and Rex are writing a book and doing a podcast. And we're all trying to make sense of it. So let's talk about it. Being part of this book and podcast, I feel like it's another way for me actually to get therapy and also to help other people who may be going through similar things with their families. We're just trying to heal like everyone else is trying to heal. Not only everyone in our family, but everyone who has been touched by the story. Because they say Lori is just as much of a stranger to them now as she is to the rest of the world. None of us feel like we know the Lori that's um, that's around now. She's definitely different now. I, I mean, I don't, I don't really, I haven't talked to her in years. She had cut me off a long time ago. While Adam and Rex are talking about Lori in the book and podcast, honoring JJ and Ty Lee. They were just both love, loving kids, um, happy. Is their main goal. They were each so unique, so unique in their place in the family. You can't, you can't replace that. What do you hope? ultimately happens in this case. I mean, we have Lori's sentencing coming up, uh, Chad's trial next spring. For me, just justice. I want justice. And I hope that neither Chad nor Lori are out in the public again in their life, because look what they've done to their own children, uh, their own families, just humans around them. Look what they've done. Who, who would be safe? if they were out in public. And so the two will continue sharing their family story, the tragedy they never saw coming in hopes of helping somebody else. We don't pretend that it will be just right for everyone, but for the maybe few people it will help, it really makes it worth it. The podcast is called Tylee and JJ Silver Linings. The first episode came out last Friday with new episodes released every week. The book isn't quite out yet, but Rex says they're trying to get it published as soon as possible. We do have comprehensive coverage on this entire case on our website, ktvb.com. Lori's sentencing is scheduled for July 31st, and Brian, she also faces charges in Arizona. It's certainly a different perspective or an interesting perspective from somebody and two people that at one point Seem pretty close to that family, so that's interesting. All right, thank you very much, Abby.